Let's take a look at um, programming uh, a method. And I'm going to do a uh, file, new project. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew that was coming. Okay, so we got an example of a method. And this is a, specifically a void. And then we'll see what that means. Okay, and I'm going to um, program in distance formula. So I need um, some labels, four labels. And I need my text boxes, four text boxes. This will be for x1, y1, x2, y2. So that's not my text box, there it is. I need a button, click. And then I need uh, two labels for the answer. I'm going to rectangular select all those and <coughs> change the properties on them. <coughs> and make it 20. Okay, click outside of those and I'm going to start rearranging. There we go. And labels. In this label, I'm going to have it uh, the text read X1. And this one will be Y1. This will be X2. And this will be Y2. Name of this one, uh, I'll go up here, change the name, will be TB underscore X1. This one will be TB underscore Y1. This one will be TB underscore X2. Normally, declaring variables with this name are going to be bad, but it actually works out well if you've ever seen the distance formula. And this one, I'm going to have it say distance. And uh, this one, I'll give it a name. I'll call it LB distance. And I'll change the visible to false and then this button will be the calculate so change the text on it say calculate that's kind of big let's make it a little bit smaller there we go and uh, I don't really like how some of this is arranged so let me move it a little bit that's good enough. And I click the form and I want its text to say distance formula. <coughs> okay. So now I click calculate. Then I'm going to um, have some variables here. Variable x1. Variable. Let's try it again. Um, double. <laughs> x1. I'm confusing with JavaScript. Um, Y1, X2, Y2, and my distance. Now X1 is going to equal to double dot parse and TB underscore X1 dot text. Y1 is going to equal to double dot parse TB underscore Y1 dot text. X2 is going to equal to double dot parse tb underscore x2 dot text y2 is going to equal to double dot parse tb underscore y2 dot text distance is going to equal to math 
dot square root beginning parentheses for the square root then beginning parentheses for the y2 minus y1 squared although I need to use math.pow on that math.pow comma 2 plus math dot pow of x2 minus x1 comma 2 for the second power closing parentheses for the pow closing parentheses for the the square root semicolon now we'll return that so I'll say lb distance lb underscore distance is equal to dot um, text is equal to distance dot two string and then I want to make the distance vis visible so visible is equal to true okay so let's run this okay so um, put two here one here five four and two um, quick calculate yeah, it looks about right. Um, 4 minus 2 is 2 squared, which is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared, which is 1. Uh, 4 plus 1 is 5, squared of 5 looks like roughly that. Got some formatting issues there, but I don't really care. Okay, now what we can do, and this, this program really won't show the power of it, but if for some reason I got quite a bit of code here you can separate these into other methods so I say private void and I'll say um, calculate distance formula then uh, beginning curly bracket closing curly bracket and so then this down here copy that and paste it up here so now down in this button one click I'm going to call calculate distance formula now what this will do well let's show you if I run it I'm gonna put in four here one here two I don't know three click calculate gives us the value. Now that value is correct. I'm not going to check it, but I haven't changed any of the code, so I know it's correct. So when you click the button, it goes out here and it calls this method. So it comes up here, it runs this code just like before, and this void means nothing's returned. It just it, You just run it, and it completes its uh, uh, run, and then drops back down to here. What's the benefit of this? Well, we're not seeing the true power yet. As we modify this, then we can come up with a method, a function, what's called in some uh, programming languages, uh, such that we can use the distance formula over and over in any parts of our program. If you design it correctly, using objects, you can even uh, come up with the distance formula one time that you can then use in any program, and you never have to program it again. Now that's especially um, beneficial if you got some very complex code, but that shows you how to do a, vo a void.